in the early 20th century British literature, huh, we come to find that there are a few popular novelists like uh, Rudyard Kipling, John Galsworthy, H.G. Wills, Arnold Bennett, E.M. Foster, and Joseph Kunderaj. All these writers were born in the Victorian age, but they continued to write in the early modern period of literature. It was in the early 20th century. They produced their literary works. And Rudyard Kipling is known for his uh, novel, Kim. And he was the first person to receive a Nobel Prize from an English-speaking country. He received the Nobel Prize in 1907. And he is also popular for his children's books like uh, Jungle Book, Ricky Tavi, etc. And he has produced also a few poems like uh, If. And If has been described by Kishwan Singh as the essence of Gita. In the single poem written by Rudyard Kipling, the essence of Gita can be identified. And he has got his notorious poem, The White Man's Burden. And UGC once asked a question from this area. And according to Rudyard Kipling, the administration of the colony seemed to the colonizers was like a burden. It seemed a burden to manage the, the half devil and half child in the colonial countries. So it is actually a notorious poem, and he was called a prophet of imperialism. It was George Orwell who regarded him as the prophet of imperialism. And after Rudyard Kipling, we come to find John Galsworthy, another popular writer who produced uh, about 31 plays and a very popular number of novels. So he started his career as a writer of plays and his plays often helped uh, for the reformation of the society, paved way for social reformations. And in his early career, he adopted a pen name also. John St. John was the pen name adopted by him. John St. John, S-I-N Sin. John St. John was the pen name adopted by John Galsworthy. And Galsworthy also received the Nobel Prize for Literature. And it was in 1932 he received the Nobel Prize. So in this context we remember that Tagore received the Nobel Prize in 1913. And 10 years after W.B. Yeats received the Nobel Prize, it was in 1923. And when the 23 years reveals the, it is 32. And Galsurthi received his Nobel Prize in 1932. And most of his plays paved way for social reforms. For example, his first play, The Silver Box, it was the first play written by John Galsurthi, speaking about the double standards in the practice of law. When a rich man stole the, pro the purse of a prostitute, he was not arrested. But when a poor man stole a silver cigarette case, he was arrested. And it was for a petty offense, the poor man was arrested. So through the play, he maintained that there was double standard in the practice of law. And it uh, opened the eyes of the the government also. And then his next play, Strife, actually speaks about a, a strike that occurred in a tin factory where there were hundreds of people working under a mere salary, a very low salary, and they fought against the employers. 
and a strike was uh, organized by them. But the employers uh, showed a cold approach to the strike and the laborers suffered a lot. Their families were put under starvation and many children became dead. And the mere wage fixed for the employees was actually the reason for the strike. And the government was made to give order for a minimum wage for the employees and ordered for maintaining hygiene in the labor colonies. And there was also another play named Justice that paved way for the reform of the jails. A poor clerk named Falder was asked to exchange a, a check for nine pounds and he put a zero along with the nine and made it ninety. He actually wanted to help his lover named Ruth Honeywell. Falder, the junior clerk, manipulated in the check given by the company and for that he was imprisoned and he was put in solitary imprisonment, solitary confinement for a few months and when he was released he lost his consciousness. He became a socially unfit person. He was not able to do any work at all and the danger of keeping prisoners in solitary confinement was brought to the attention of the government. And for petty crimes also, the prisoners were put in solitary imprisonment. And the isolation in the prison made them lose their mental health. And when they were released from the prison, they were not able to do any kind of work. And the situation is presented in this play and it brought the attention of the government for prison reforms. Galsurti is known for his plays that paved way for social reforms. And Galsurti was also a novelist. He produced a saga with many number of novels in the set. A group of many number of novels based on the history of a family. Therefore, it is called a saga. And it was called a foresight saga, the story of Soyami's foresight. And in the foresight saga, there are three novels and two interludes. And the novels are The Man of Property, and then there is the interlude, Indian Summer of a Foresight. And then the next novel, In Chancery. And it was followed by another interlude called Awakening. And the last novel in the group was Tulich. So there are three novels plus two interludes. Totally five books in Foresight Saga. And it was produced by him in 1922. In the year T.S. Eliot brought out his Wasteland. The publication of Foresight Saga took place in 1922, but it actually required a few years for him to complete the novel. He actually started writing the novel from 1906 onwards and he completed it in 1921 and the publication took place in 1922. In the Foresight Saga, we come to find that there are three novels and uh, two interludes. And then the Foresight Saga was followed by two sequels. There were also two sequels prepared by him after the Foresight Saga. Following the same theme of Foresight Saga, he published uh, two more sequels. And the first sequel was a modern comedy. And it followed the story of the Foresight Saga. And there are also three novels and two interviews. And the novels are The White Monkey, The Silver Spoon, and Swan Song. The White Monkey was the first novel in the set of the modern comedy. And it was followed by an interlude called A Silent Wooing. And then it followed another novel, The Silver Spoon. 
and it was followed by again an interlude called uh, Passage by and the last novel was Swan Song actually the Swan Song the final song for the Forsyth family and then the next sequel actually speaks about a relative of uh, Forsyth called uh, Cheryls and this is also written in the format of a trilogy and there are three novels but there are no interludes in the Cheryls trilogy it is entitled the end of the chapter the trilogy is entitled the end of the chapter but in the trilogy we don't come to find a novel entitled the end of the chapter it is given as a name for the three novels and the story of uh, end of the chapter is connected with the foresight saga because the cherels are the very close relatives of the foresight family and the story is actually the story of uh, the cherels uh, family and there are three novels made in waiting flowering wilderness and over the river so there are no interludes there are only three novels in the end of the chapter as a whole galsarthi produced a few number of novels and the novels are connected with the story of foresight soyami's foresight and their relative the cherels so the first set of stories was entitled uh, the foresight saga there are three novels and two interludes and it was published in 1922 even though the writing started from 1906 and the foresight saga was followed by two sequels the first sequel was also the story of the foresights and there are again three novels and two interludes and it was followed by the next sequel and it tells the story of a relative of the soyami's foresight family and they are called uh, cherels and there are uh, three novels entitled uh, made in waiting flowering wilderness and over the river and after john galsworthy we come to find edg wells edg wells was also a writer of novels he was also an essayist uh, and uh, a writer of history and best remembered for his uh, scientific fiction and uh, chivels is often called uh, the father of uh, scientific fiction the father of science uh, fiction and his most uh, noted science fiction works include the time machine the invisible man the war of the worlds etc and his first novel was a scientific novel and it was called the time machine and it was produced by him in 